Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be baking some chicken. Now whether you live alone or whether you have a full house, this dish is very flexible. You can always adjust it any way you like. And today I'm gonna show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. Now the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm ready to put my seasoning together. I have one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of lemon pepper, because I want that zing in there that the lemon pepper will give our chicken. I have one teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, and I have half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, because we like a little kick, but you can leave it out if you don't want it in there. And I have one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cumin. Now you don't want your cumin to dominate, but you do want the cumin in here. And I have two teaspoons of paprika, and this is my homemade paprika in here. And I have one and a half tablespoons of light brown sugar. Now I love the brown sugar in here because it's just the perfect balance. You wanna make sure that you incorporate it really well. And here it is, see? Now we can move on to our next step. Now the chicken has excess fat on it and skin, as you can see, and we wanna remove that. We wanna leave the skin, but we just don't want all this extra skin. I'm just gonna cut this off. You don't need that. And then check it, you know? And I'm gonna drop it into my dish. Here's another piece. See all this? I take that off. See, that's good like that. And now with the drumsticks, you might not have as much, but you wanna check them all around anyway. And I'm gonna continue the process. So now that I have removed all the excess fat and skin from my chicken, I'm ready to season it. Now I left all my chicken in this dish because I wanna season it in here. I want everything to stay in here. Now I've got some melted butter. I'm just gonna pour some of this melted butter and make sure that my chicken is all coated. You can use olive oil if you want, but I like the flavor of the butter and I also like that it gives it a nice color. You know what happens when you put butter into your skillet and then you start melting it, it starts to get golden brown. So that's what I wanted to do on my chicken. This is about a tablespoon and a half. Now, as you can see, the butter has gotten solid again because the chicken is so cold. Now I'm gonna salt my chicken. I like to do every piece individually like this because I'll know exactly how much salt is going on every piece. Okay, so I'm done with the salt. Now I'm gonna season every piece here with my seasoning. See, and then once this dish goes into the oven, the butter is gonna melt again and it'll all be in here and it'll be perfect for basting. I like to put it under the skin. Just make sure it's all well coated. See, now I'm gonna rub it in really good like this and underneath the skin too, see? And put the flap over. Now, as you can see, I've got the four thighs and the three drumsticks, but if it's just you, you know, at home, you can just prepare maybe two pieces or four, and it makes great leftovers. So I've got all my chicken coated well with a seasoning, and I have my thighs with a skin side down, because when I flip them over, I want the skin on top. So now I'm gonna put them into my oven in the center rack for 40 minutes but I will be flipping them over at the 20 minute point and I'll let you see it. So it's been 20 minutes and I just pulled my dish out of the oven. Now I'm flipping my chicken over to the other side. 
Now, once the full 40 minutes are up, I'm gonna set it on broil for anywhere between two and three minutes. You wanna keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn from the top. But this way, it'll get a nice crispy top. So now I'm gonna set it back into the oven and I'll see you then. So my chicken is ready. I let it sit out for about five minutes. Come take a look. Oh, look at that. Now let's cut into it. Oh, see? Perfect. Oh, I can't wait to dive in. Now I'm gonna be serving our chicken with this salad that I made. It's a potato, green bean, and corn salad. You can side it with anything that you like. I think this salad right here is just perfect because it's got everything in it, from tomatoes to the green beans, the corn, and it's just absolutely delicious. I need to make a video on this. So now it's time for the taste test. Mmm, yummy meal. Mm. It's just tender and just falling off the bone. So perfect. And then with this cold salad, together. Mmm. So this is my delicious baked chicken. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.